Flight schools can be a great way to get your pilot license. They typically have a bunch of aircraft, full-time instructors, and structured curriculum to help you get through the program. But not all flight schools have your best interest in mind. So here are a few ways flight schools may try to cheat you out of your money and maybe out of becoming a pilot. <laughs> Let's start with paying up front. A lot of schools give you this option and may even offer you a discount if you do. But make sure to check the fine print on that contract. The money you give them may not be refundable. So if you wanna change schools and decide that flying isn't right for you, your money is stuck. Even worse, the school could decide to close and then you can kiss that money goodbye. Next, a school may underquote costs. They do this to lure students in with attractive pricing. Like if they gave you a price based off the FAA's minimum 40 hours. It's gonna look a lot better than what the average student pays at around 65 hours. Not to mention all the books, materials, a headset, and testing you need to pay for. Not being upfront and realistic with their numbers can cost you a lot of money in the end. Now let's talk about failing stage checks. A stage check is like a mini test where you go on a flight with a different instructor to show that you're proficient in what you've learned and are ready for the next stage of your training. Sometimes schools will fail you on these checks for silly reasons because it means you have to go back, take more training and take the stage check again. A couple of failed stage checks really add up and become quite costly. The biggest achievement for a student pilot is soloing, but some schools prolong the solo flight, keeping the student flying with an instructor for as long as possible. Margins on running aircraft are really slim and schools often make more money on training. So prolonging solo flights as long as possible generates more revenue for the school. Now this next one goes along with that and it's randomly canceled flights, as in you show up to the airport for your lesson only to find out that your flight's been canceled due to wind. They didn't call to let you know, but say, let's do a ground lesson instead. Here's the catch though. The wind is flyable and perfect for learning crosswind landings. We put a lot of trust into schools and instructors, so when they say we shouldn't fly, we usually nod our heads in agreement. But sometimes schools will cancel flights when there's flyable weather for no good reason, other than to charge for additional instruction time. This next one can be really frustrating, but your school may change your instructor. Realize that every time they do, the new instructor will want some ground, some flight time, they wanna see where you're at. And they might not like how you were trained, and they might wanna retrain you on a few things. But guess who's paying for it? You. So watch out if you find your instructor randomly getting changed from time to time, or it may end up costing you. Hey guys, Editing Carl here, and I wanna let you know that these are normal things for flight schools to be doing. And if they do it once, it doesn't necessarily mean they're trying to take advantage of you. But if they're doing it more often than you feel that they should, then that's a true cause for concern, and you should definitely talk to someone about it. Anyways, let's get back to Tiffany. Now, there are a lot of other ways flight schools try and take your money. If you've had a bad experience with the flight school, tell us down in the comments so we can make a great knowledge base for prospective pilots. Anyways, if you like this video or you found it helpful, check out the channel page because we make great content like this all the time. As always, make sure to share aviation wherever you can and we'll see you in the next one.